contest. Right. He ended up like that. Now, uh, the Vegas situation, there was a lot of talk about what went on after the contest, uh, you know, the partying and so forth. And I was sort of told to keep my mouth shut because, you know, I got a big mouth on my website. Mm -hmm. Always uh, reporting the news that people tell you, listen, this is between us. Most of the time, I will adhere to that policy. But I, I just couldn't resist to this one. And I was so pissed that no one called me and told me that there was a ruckus going on in uh, the uh, Stratosphere Lounge, which was the lounge that the Eater State had for the uh, Las Vegas U.S. Open. Now, what was the story with Dale Boone? Let, let me just give you my insight as to or what happened, and you give me your uh, you know, feedback on it. Right. Dale Boone walks into the stratosphere with three chicks, right? Okay. One of whom I set him up with. Uh, she appeared to look underage, as a matter of fact, and I had no idea that he would uh, approach this young lady. But he did, and she was with, she was with a boyfriend. Now, I'm saying, well, I'm looking for far away. I go, no, he didn't go there, man. I'm like, <laughs> and the, the guy was scared shit. He was, like, basically backing away. If, you know, looking at Eric Booker and Hardy and, all, and, and Jarvis and all the big guys and saying, oh, God, I mean, you know, let him take her. What am I going to do? For I mean, that was, that was, that was, that was <laughs> really how it looked. Yeah, and um, so he walks in with these three chicks, right? Uh, it's obvious that he walked in there with the intention of... Uh, showing off in front of his longtime nemesis, Crazy Rex Condi. I mean, I think that's his whole purpose in life, is to try to impress Crazy Rex Condi. Well, I think Boone was also upset because he he, uh, he made a big deal about wanting to sing Someone Left My Cake Out of the Rain. Oh, he was at a karaoke oh, bar, oh, and we wouldn't let him do it, and that, yeah. that just kind of got to him more. That did so, it, okay. Yeah. The, the, basically, the girl now, when he walks in with these young ladies, apparently their attention is diverted towards you, Paul Hunt and Joey Chestnut, and that must have infuriated him and set off an enraged, he must have been enraged to the point where he was ready to kill somebody. Um, I think he was, and then the best part was though, I didn't even do anything to to attract those girls, I was just minding my own business, I just wanted to goof around and have some beers. Exactly. So, okay. I mean, I really was, I swear to God, I, I didn't plan any of that, you know, okay. I was just having fun. Right, now what happened, Crazy Lex County picks up the table and throws it at Boone, now, Boone claims he was sucker punched by Crazy Legs, and uh, that's and then Hardy. Uh, there was no sucker punch at all. Okay. No. I mean, I I would I don't, know, I don't want to point fingers. No, we we uh, we won't go into. I just wanted sort of an idea of uh, what actually happened, and then and then Charles Hardy comes in like the um, savior as the police officer. I got everything under control. <laughs> Everyone who had a good reputation going into that night did not have still, a good no no still should have a good reputation because okay. everyone behaved properly. Right. That, that has the reputation for behaving so. Right. I was. I mean, I was just under the assumption that uh, Boone was a bad boy and uh, he should have gotten a little bit of a scolding. And uh, instead, uh, he's been getting nothing but praise in the organization since then. Uh, and you know, that's just that's just my personal opinion. I mean, why should a man that you know started a, a World War Three in Las Vegas all of a sudden get carte blanche treatment because he's in India? Right. Uh, well, that's just how I feel. Anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll move on to other topics.